The hybrid evaporator is exactly that. So the goal is we're still using the concept of the falling film and having refrigerant rain down and just boil off as it goes and gets collected back into the suction. It it has a distribution block up top, liquid refrigerant is still injected into the top of it. Uh, it goes through a metering device outside of this distribution block, by the way. This just, it's already in a form, of st it's already in a saturated state by the time it gets put in up here. And then there's enough refrigerant left over that we can hit this bottom section here and actually have a little bit of standing liquid refrigerant in the bottom just not near as much. So we're taking both concepts and putting them together because these this is extremely effective in terms of heat transfer because you know the, the goal is you have all of the liquid refrigerant submerged, uh, all the piping. Well, in this particular case, we're reducing the charge required and we're getting a lot less refrigerant needed and we're still able to obtain some really solid efficiency numbers by having the refrigerant fully submerged.